In this chapter, we're going to look at some of the ways in which we can arrange data using Perl. First of all, we're going to look at the difference between Perl's basic data types, that is scalars, arrays, and hashes. And then we're going to look in detail at arrays, and we're also going to look at hashes. First of all, let's take a look at what these different data types are. So far, we've only seen simple variables or scalars. Now, a scalar variable can only contain one value. The today variable can only be one day at a time. However, with an array, we can have many values at once. For instance, we can have a more generic array or a hash that can contain values for today, tomorrow, and the next day. So we might have Wednesday and today, and Thursday and tomorrow, and so on. The difference between an array and a hash can be summed up like this. Here are three Perl variables. Now the first one is a scalar, and that's the street. And the street simply contains a string, which is the name of the street. However, in order to further identify our house, which is what all of these variables relate to, we could identify it by looking at the street number. Now, the street number is an array because there's more than one number within the street. And each of the elements in the array are sequentially ordered. One, two, three, four, or five, and so on. A hash, on the other hand, is more similar to the names of houses within a street. Although there's more than one variable, they're not numerically ordered. There's no particular reason why the laurels should come before bag end. They're just arranged in a relatively arbitrary order within the street or the hash in which they're contained. You may also hear a hash called an associative array. So that's the basic difference between scalars, arrays, and hashes. And in our next movie, we're going to take a look in some more detail at what an array does.